So everybody's dying to know, what's your review of the fence? I am a man who has a very patient wife. She puts up with my crazy ideas and schemes. Were you surprised when I said I wanted to move to a farm? Yeah. She patiently endures the chaos that I create. Come on out, pal. And she loves me for me, which completely shocks the heck out of me. Ah! <laughs> but that's not to say that after 12 years of marriage, my wife doesn't have a few grievances. In fact, she is entitled to a lot of them. Hey Morgan's messiness. I knew that was going to happen with that coffee thing. Like, I told you it was a hazard. Goodness gracious. I mean, it's nice to see you around to make me dinner. But other than Pablo Barncat. Mm. Hi. Oh, no, we don't do that. My wife's favorite thing about farm life is her garden. I want you to focus on my flowers. Yeah, I'm really I, proud of them. Roll the flower montage. Flowers are so beautiful. Although she's only been gardening for a few years, my wife has blossomed into an outstanding gardener, and her garden every single year is a pride and joy for her, and it puts vegetables and other things on our plates every summer and all the way in through the dark cold Vermont winter. But because there's so many woodchucks and rabbits and deer and skunks who are willing to mess up a garden, Allison's garden has always required a fence, and I have always been the person to build that fence for her. But the only problem there is that the fences I have built have been... I don't know how to say this because I ain't got no alibi. You ugly, uh, uh, you ugly, uh, uh. The reason I have built ugly garden fences has been for a couple of reasons, actually. Number one, I have traditionally not been a very skilled craftsman, and so I'm very much practicing good enough carpentry on this project. Just I lack the skill set to build a nice garden fence. But then reason number two is I've often focused much more on the functional than the beautiful. Hey, Kels, come on, Kels, fresh grass, fresh grass, come on. But unfortunately, my wife, Allison, really likes beautiful things. For her, the aesthetics really matter. But you know, Abby, I think finally the time has come for me to change my ways and for me to give Allison the garden fence of her dreams. So in order to get this party started, First, I've got to rip out the old fence. Now, the old fence was something I put in a couple of years ago, taking some cedar posts from our farm, drilling holes with an earth auger, putting them into the ground, and then slapping up some woven wire fencing I just had kicking around. Ripping out the fencing staples and pulling off the wire and pulling the posts out is gonna take a lot of work, and it's gonna be a tedious, time-consuming task. Or I guess I should say it was supposed to be a tedious, time-consuming task, but luckily, my buddy Alfred was on the farm working with his excavator, so he offered to lend a hand. My buddy Alfred, he lives on down the road. He's a wizard with machines, a genius in blue jeans. Let's stop and say hello. My buddy Alfred, Vermont's best so-and-so. Bricklaying engineer, searching, driving heavy gear, ain't nothing he don't know.
Now with the entire framing of the fence up and in place, it was time for the next step. The next step is really to make sure that there's plenty of wire covering the fence. So this is again, meant to keep critters out. In particular, rabbits and woodchucks, probably the most lethal critters we have around the farm that could attack my wife's garden. And so that's why I went with a woven wire fence. I think it's a uh, two inches by four inches of cell. So it's big enough, or I should say small enough to protect any of those animals from getting in there. And it came time to apply that fencing to the fence. Now, typically this is the time when I really struggle with trying to put up this fencing. In the past, as I've put up this type of fencing, it's never been quite as tight as it usually is. You know, I can get the base in place really well, but I've struggled to make the fencing wire tight all the way around. Well, I now have a new tool that I'm using this year, and this is what's known as a fence stretcher. And what you do is you take the fencing and you put it in between the metal brace as well as essentially what's a two by four that sits behind it. And then you have a couple of carriage bolts that you fasten to tighten it all together. And this device grips the entire fence evenly and if I attach it to something uh, like a winch or a cable I can actually pull it and create tension within the fencing so once I had the wire set I decided to take my ATV which has actually a handy cable winch on the front of it and attach that to the fencing stretcher and I used it to pull there was a little bit of a learning curve in getting all this done that didn't work and I know the dogs thought I looked a little bit ridiculous when I was trying to do it but once I figured out how to make it work it actually became very easy to tighten and tension this fence in a way that I could get it really, really taut. And then once it was taut, I would come in with the fencing staples and just bang those right in. And that would keep the fencing in place when I finally released the tension that was coming from the winch. I spent a very enjoyable afternoon that day going out there with the fence stretcher and that fencing and was able to put it up in probably, I don't know, I think it took me less than two hours to get everything in place and everything looking just really, really good. It was taut, it was attractive, it was all relatively even, and I was feeling very good with what the fence was starting to look like as things started to take shape. You know, usually when I get to this stage of a project, I'm kind of getting to the place where I just wanna get it done and finished. And a lot of times when I'm in that place, I'm half-assing things. But because making this fence for my wife is so important to me and I really do want her to have something that's attractive and that she feels proud of. I'm putting in that extra effort and that effort is what I really hope is going to make her happy and that effort is going to be the thing that really does give her the garden of her dreams. So yesterday, my wife came back from work and I was supposed to show her what I had done to her garden and the transformation and the beautiful fence that I had created for her. And she and I had made a date to come out here and I was gonna showcase this whole new garden fence for her and make a video of it for you guys. But right before I was gonna bring her out here, I was making some coffee and I was washing the coffee pot and I accidentally sliced off the tip of my ring finger on my right hand. And so she took a look at it and said immediately that I was going to need some serious number of stitches to repair this because my fingertip was just hanging by a flap of skin. Like I hacked the whole thing off with that piece of glass. Spread your fingers apart. Thank you, love. You know where I didn't want to go today? In the hospital. <laughs> That injury meant that my wife had to perform some emergency medicine on me on her day off. And so that right there blew up my entire plan to do a big garden fence reveal. And it's also why I'm wearing this big goofy orange 
glove to cover up my injury. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. They call me Reek. Yeah, I stole that meme. So yes, that is why you see me walking around with this big goofy glove, as well as why you don't see my wife out here in the garden. And while I was in the emergency room, my wife ended up coming out here to do some stuff in the garden. And so she got a sneak peek, but let's see if I can convince her to come back out here and give you guys her full review of the entire job that I did. Jeannie, are you up to no good? So everybody's dying to know, what's your review of the fence? It looks great. You don't sound all that confident. I have the camera on me. So the camera's killing your confidence? It's because I'm awkward. So yeah. what's the plan for next year with the garden? I'm not, I'm not equipped to answer these questions. You're not done with this year? No. Okay. So we're just gonna end the video? That's all, folks. <laughs>